Hey everyone, my name is Edin. I am one half of Hustle and Hooks. I just wanted to shoot this quick vlog style uh, video just to show you what it's like to be a part-time reseller with about 700 listings. Now, my wife and I both work on our business basically every single day. It just depends on how much we get done each day. So right now, it's time to pick yesterday's orders, package them, and it's time to get some listings done and also organize some things that we already have. First, with. I wanted to go over some of the things that sold for us yesterday and today. First is Zori... Zoji Rishi rice maker. We picked that up at Goodwill for six bucks and it sold for 115 shipped. It does have the pan and it does have a little scooper and, and measuring cups. That sold within two days. This Monster High doll sold for 25 shipped. We got this in a big buy uh, recently and uh, it's all profit now. We've sold over $800 worth and we bought the collection for 175 if I'm remembering correctly. Next up, we have this Quasar. Uh, or Kassar, however you pronounce it, VCR. That's sold for 70 shipped with the remote control and AV cables. We have this uh, Made in USA Hawaiian style shirt that sold for 30 on Poshmark. This Duluth uh, modern style shirt that sold for $20 on eBay. We picked these up for about three bucks a pair. On the bottom here, we have a Panasonic DMR ES46B with remote and a couple of blanks. That sold for 275 shipped. And we picked that up at a garage sale for $25. And last, of course, hashtag pots and pants. This one sold for $45 shipped. This is an old Revere Rare copper bottom. And uh, it was uh, made in USA, as you can see on the stamp. Um, or maybe you can't see on the stamp. So first thing, I'm going to go ahead and package all this up. It's going to take a little bit of time, especially these two units. Is I'll probably need to customize a box for them. So let's get that done. One thing that is awesome about selling clothing is that it's so easy to package. It just took less than 30 seconds each, and I always label to make sure I know what's inside each package before I print the shipping labels. The next thing I'm going to package is this Monster High doll. I actually save all of my tubes from all of our bubble wrap and or craft paper. All I'm going to do is wrap her in bubble wrap uh, once or twice and then stuff it all in here and then pull this put this inside of a poly bag. It'll still go first class and it'll be nice and secured and it's worked for us several times in the past using this tube. We love to recycle our material as much so as here's possible. Here's that doll stuffed and bubble wrapped in, inside of here. Poly mailer, pretty straightforward. Uh, once this is in here, I'm just going to use the adhesive to close it up, label it. Here's the uh, rice cooker. It doesn't really fit well in this 12 by 12 by uh, eight. It's very snug, so I'm gonna Put it the long way and then i'm just going to use another 12 by 12 by 8 place it on top and insert it and then tape it all around you can modify priority mailboxes as long as they're not the flat rate ones and even the flat rate ones i'm pretty sure you can there's a rule uh, for it but in this case i'm just going to uh, use craft paper to get all the gaps stuffed here and then get this box on top of it tape it shut again and it'll here's be that first vcr with the remote it's bubble wrap it's very snug in here, which is fine. I'm just gonna fill the rest of this with paper void and that'll, that's gonna be all set. Ready. Next up, we have the Revere Wear. That's gonna fit in this uh, roughly 12 by 12 by 10. I'm just going to use paper, craft all around, make sure that the steel is protected so it's not banging against each other and causing any damage. Last for now is this $275 sale. Same thing with these. It doesn't matter if they sell for 60 or 300. We're, they're gonna get bubble wrapped several times over. I put a loose piece of bubble wrap here to lay down the uh, cables and the remote. And then as I fold this over, that's not going to have the remote scratch up uh, the surface of this. So several times over, find a box, fill the box with void. So here's what that uh, VCR company combo unit looks like. Um, it's underneath here. This is nice and loose on top. I'm just gonna close this up so it's nice and tight. Tape it. Oh, this is packed up. It. The other thing I need to pack are these vans. These are uh, larger size. Picked them up for seven. They sold for 29 on Poshmark. They're just gonna go in a simple shoe box. So we'll get those done. Then we're gonna get all the labels printed. All of these brown boxes are going to go FedEx. They're larger. Typically FedEx charges us anywhere from 15 to $30 depending on where it's going. These are all going to be first class, and then this is priority, and that one's priority. All right, so I got everything packaged. I got everything dropped off. Now it's time to process some more shoes. So if you caught it on Instagram yesterday, uh, we updated everyone, and uh, we were working on pots and pans and cleaning a bunch of shoes. Wanda cleaned like 30 pair. I photographed probably 20 of them, and now it's time to get to the rest. 
have been photographed and cleaned. There's some Nikes, um, some North Face. These actually I got for free at a garage sale with another pair, which is pretty crazy. Uh, some Pumas, uh, some Tony Hawks, some Adidas, Dickies, uh, Vince Ka something, Kabuto, Kabadi, Vince Kabadi, some Merrells, uh, some Borns, and so on. So all of these are actually photographed and uh, now it's time to list them. We have this pile here that's been photographed as well. These ones have been photographed, but I have to research to figure out the size because they don't have size tags. And then all of these clothing items have been photographed and most of them have been listed with the exception of some Carhartt items that I have to get some more details on. So all this stuff has to be inventoried next. Are the ones that are ready for photographs. So there's some Jordans. Uh, first time ever finding Jordans in a while. Um, some Converse, uh, some more Converse Asics, some North Face boots. Uh, some Salconies, uh, some Adidas. These are actually pretty sweet. Uh, I'm not sure how old they are, but we picked them up for a dollar at a garage, so they were really dirty and full of cat hair or dog hair. Mona did a great job cleaning those up. They should sell for about 40. Let me show you the setup that we use for shoes. These are set up uh, regularly. We just use an old tablecloth and a white backdrop and these cheap lights. We'll definitely be upgrading this once we move our eBay business into our garage. But for now, this works relatively well. It's very cheap. Uh, you can see it's time to change the sheet as it's getting stained and dirty. The unfortunate part is that we do all of our work here, uh, shipping and listing and all that good stuff. For shoes, all we're going to do is set up this uh, soft, fake uh, fur, and I'll show you what that looks so like. Here's in that uh, same uh, fox fur or fake fur, whatever you call it. It's just a blanket we got off of Amazon for like 30 bucks. And then we just set up our shoes here. So typically we do the same photographs over and over. Um, this is usually the cover. We'll do a front, front close, top. These ones I'm gonna have to shave. They're, we have a fabric shaver that'll clean this up really well. Obviously we'll take the Goodwill sticker out of them. Then we're going to do side photos uh, like this. And then other side, front, back, etc. size tag. So that's pretty much it. So once we get those photographed, we're actually going to load up our cell phones and then we'll list them um, periodically throughout the weekend when we have some downtime or not hanging out with our family or working on some projects. Let me show you a couple of things I picked up earlier uh, today at a Goodwill. So yesterday I had a really amazing shoe find. Uh, we, I think I brought back at least 15 pair. Today it was pretty dry. I did find these men's jeans. They are a, a Mech Denim USA. They're not great. They should sell for about 30, 35 plus ship. Anytime I look up jeans, I look at this distressing and these big patches. Typically that's some sort of designer. Uh, paid five bucks for those. Picked up these blank CDs. Um, these are good to pair with units, um, recording units, or maybe even sell individually. These do really well. Uh, blank media that's not being produced anymore does pretty well. You can see I paid only a couple bucks for them. First time ever finding golf clubs. These are um, Palmers. They're irons. Um, I have to figure out a way to identify them. I'm pretty sure it's on there somewhere. I saw listings and solds for about 20 bucks each. So it depends on how many I have here, uh, if I can make some sort of set. Otherwise, I'll just list them individually for about 25, 30 bucks free ship. It'll cost about 10 bucks to ship them in a, a USPS tube. And then I found this uh, pot and pan. This is just a nice Farberware. Uh, actually going to use this personally. It costs five bucks. Um, it's like new. I mean, there's no scratching. It doesn't have any signs of real damage. It has a little bit of dirt, but we'll clean them up and it'll replace one that's kind of getting uh, used up. So that's that's pretty much it. That's all that I found. I, on, I only was in there for about 20 minutes. They were bringing out new merchandise. I just didn't find anything worth my time. So here are those pots and pans. So originally they, uh, there was a Facebook listing for $100 for the set. And uh, all I knew was the brand, which is Calphalon. And I did a little bit of research, but I knew it's a good seller because we've dealt with it in the past. I offered 60 when I got there because it needed, some of them needed a lot of scrubbing. They counted with 70 and we made a deal. I just finished listing all of them. So again, I paid 70 for them all and I listed them for $345 uh, gross. That's with free shipping on all of them. Uh, some for about 60, some for 70, these smaller ones for 40. So the nice thing when you buy a set is then you can decide if you wanna sell the set together or if you wanna sell, sell 
sell a couple of them uh, together. Like I chose the eight inch and 10 inch pan together as one listing. And then all of these were individual. And a nice thing about this is that they have the court right on them. So I don't have to do any measurements and they have the branding right on them as well. Obviously they're stainless steel, so they're pretty easy to identify. And anytime you have the lids, it's really a big bonus. One thing I wanted to point out with this one, it did have a couple of dents on the lid. I just made sure to disclose that in the listing and take close up photos. So again, $70 purchase, $345 gross sales expected. Uh, that's a really good ROI for our business model. I think that's going to do it for me for this video. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight what it's like to be a part-time uh, reseller. So again, my wife, Mona, and I, uh, we resell. We've been doing this for just over a year. And uh, it's been going really well for us. And it's been very profitable and enjoyable. Tons of hard work, tons of long hours, tons of doing grunt, uh, you know, days of doing grunt work. But overall, there's a lot of enjoyment that we find uh, in doing it. And of course, it's, uh, it's nice for the bank account. Uh, if you do like this type of content, this vlog style content, let me know in the comments below. Uh, smash the like button for me. It really helps this tiny channel grow and uh, reach other, um, other subscribers and other viewers to hopefully spread the message of reselling and, and helping others make money on the side or potentially gaining enough knowledge that they can turn this into a full-time business. You guys take care.